Good morning gamers. Today I'm going to go over how to 5 tick Zarpus. Uh, I think this is a very important mechanic to learn, not only for when you do hard modes, but also for when you send speedruns. Now the requirement to learn how to 5 tick Zarpus is obviously having a scythe, otherwise it won't work. And I also think you should master 4 tick melee Zarpus first before trying to learn this, and as well master the 5.33 tick scythe Zarpus which is essentially a 4-tick melee weapon uh, Zarpus running, except you're doing it with a Scythe, so you're losing a tick every 3 attacks. Now the reason why 5-tick Zarpus is very powerful is because you lose no DPS, and you can maintain max DPS with a Scythe and guarantee MVP. So I'm going to start off with 1 Hammer, 1 BGS, which is the 1-1. One, one. And I'm going to go here so I can right away rag this tile. Now there's three attack cycles, I'm on the second one, now I'm on the last attack cycle. So here is where I would rag a tile, so I rag this one again. Then I walk back for four ticks, and I go back into cycle. One, two, last scythe hit, now I rag a tile. And I go back. One, two, I'd recommend counting out loud when you're learning. Eventually everything is going to click and you won't even have to count, you'll just do it naturally. And you can path around as much as you want, which is what's fun. I like to walk when I path, so it makes it more satisfying. You can also go really far away, path your way back, and make sure you walk into the ragging tile, that way you only take one poison spot instead of two. A thing that I see learners make often is they run straight here, which is bad. You can also path through with the diagonal tile like this. It's a really cool way to rag a tile. Now the last tile I rag. And it's also always useful in regular top to rag these corner tiles. Because those ones are not used when you're running around like so. See so I can still run around. See someone rag this tile here. Which uh, I cannot use if I'm running around. When you're doing hard mode tab, it doesn't really matter because uh, in hard mode tab, you just want to have one tile that's open. However, for regular tab, uh, you should avoid dragging those tiles. Now, I mean, this is very, very simplified. Uh, I'm not going to go into much detail more than this. I'm assuming that all the bases have been mastered. If you don't know how to do four tick melee Zarpus with a four tick weapon, like a rapier or a whip, I have a video on that too. I would recommend you watch it. It'll give you the basis for how to do a 4 tick, and also how to set up the cycle, which is uh, some of the, one of the harder parts, I find. And maintaining a cycle is a lot easier. Uh, setting it up is a little harder. It's a certain uh, tick that you have to attack on. So I hope you find that video useful. Uh, I would recommend definitely learning 4 tick, maybe Zarpus, before trying this. And there's also a lot of ways you can practice if you don't want to practice at Zarpus directly. I would however recommend you practice at Zarpus. Whoop, that was a weird click. And uh, if you start messing up, then you can just uh, bring range gear and run back and start ranging the boss. You can also practice by uh, siphoning other monsters in game. Like, uh, for example, you can try it on Worms or um, Drake's works as well. I remember when I was learning uh, some advanced stuff, I would be doing it at, uh, at uh, Worms. And it was fun too, because you would really master pathing as well, which is quite useful. Oh, I took damage there. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful. I mean, I didn't go into too much detail. I'm trying to keep it short. And if you have any questions, feel free to, to comment below. I also will put in the description the 4-tick guide on how to do a 4-tick Zarpus melee walking. And uh, if you have any other uh, requests for certain videos, just let me know below and I'll make sure to make them. On that note, uh, take care.